Hi, this is Yee from Web Hosting Break, and today I'm going to review the WordPress theme Inuit Types. Uh, it's a very refreshing change compared to the previous WordPress themes I have been reviewing, simply because uh, Inuit Types is a very sharp looking theme that gives you enough custom options to differentiate your blog from someone else who might also be using the same theme. Uh, in fact, there are over 900 different combinations you can actually come up with. So what I'll do, I'll quickly take you through the overall features before taking you to the back end and showing you how to customize um, the layout. So by default, Inuit Types, it is kind of like a three column layout. So on the right hand side here, uh, you initially have the sidebar, but you can actually add a click of a button, flip that to the left hand side. And a lot of your posts are highlighted in the center here. Um, so currently I've chosen the two column layout for uh, the post, but you can easily switch that to a one column one as well. Okay, so I'll quickly show you that later on. Um, so as you can see at the top, I only have four articles here. So these are, I guess, the normal articles, and then you can also have something called like the highlighted featured articles. Um, however, unlike some of the things where you can assign certain tags to be included as featured posts, Inuit Types isn't as flexible. Um, the featured articles in this case are really just your most recent articles and you can actually set the number of featured articles to display. Um, if you don't like it, you can actually get rid of it. So I'll show you that on the back end. So if we go back here to appearances and theme options. Okay, so if you draw your attention to this sidebar on the left or right. So by default it is on the right hand side, but if we click on that, save changes, the sidebar will actually go onto the left hand side, which is, um, I guess a lot of WordPress theme don't really offer that. So there you go. And then in terms of the featured post entries, um, you can actually select a number. So I can highlight four, I only have four articles, so we'll probably highlight all four. Let's go to the front end, refresh. Okay, so that actually highlights all four. And you can actually just do one as well, or zero. And then featured posts, you can have one column. Right now it's set to two, so we'll just click on that. And let's say you wanted kind of a more two column layout rather than three, you'll click one column normal posts as well. So I'll just quickly show you what that would look like. Just save change. Okay, we'll just refresh that. Okay, there you go. So that actually becomes like a two column blog. Okay. Um, the great thing is that the excerpts are automatically summarized and shrunk down to fit nicely on the front page. Um, so there's no need to manually go into a post to insert the read more line break or create excerpts. So it's very convenient for those who already have maybe a few posts published and are looking to switch themes. Because um, I know the previous themes I have reviewed, um, they don't have the automatically, you know, kind of like shrinking down the excerpts and you actually have to go in and manually do it which caused a bit of a problem if you, let's say, had 40, you know, 20, 40 posts already, then you had to do that for each post. Um, so the theme also supports a custom drop-down menu bar. So if you go on the left-hand side. And the bar menu, I mean, isn't so much in your face as it sits discreetly at the top along with the RSS feed button. Okay. And the theme doesn't have a widgetized footer. Um, nevertheless, it does make it up for the front page text module above the post, which is this here. So how you do this, if you go into the back end again, so under appearances, go to widgets, select that load, waiting, okay, here we go. So here's the sidebar here, and then this is called the front page intro. Um, so you simply drag and drop the text module, let's just drag it in here, and then you can actually type something in. Oh, so there's a spelling error. Let's fix that. Here. Save. And just refresh. And here you go. So that's actually this. 
Um, so what you would love about Inuit types are, um, I guess, the theme options in the back end. And I know it doesn't really have custom background or custom header. Um, nevertheless, it does have custom color themes. So uh, default is this black and white theme. And you can actually have red, green, blue, purple. So let's do purple. Let's have a look. Okay, refresh. Here you go, so that's the purple theme. Okay, and then of course the red, green, blue, you can see what it is. But I actually quite like the dark black theme as well. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. So there you go, here's the dark theme, which I really like. It really gives it this really classy, stylish look. Click on the post and have a look. Okay, and this one, I guess the darker theme really brings out the photos as well. So, yeah, so I guess Inuit type would um, have been a bit better if it included like custom header and background. Uh, it would have been good to change this. Um, nevertheless, I'm very pleased with its current selection of alternative options and its bold fonts and clean layout definitely makes it a very easy to navigate blog and uh, very readable as well. So definitely give this uh, theme a try and see how you go with it. So if you're currently using the theme or if you have any comments, um, you know, provide some feedback below. And uh, if you have any, I guess, suggestions for themes you want reviewed, um, also comment below as well. So thanks again and I'll see you next week. Cheers.